All right, I had some technical difficulties setting up the audio recorder, uh, so we're a little behind here. Um, but this is Grossmont versus Cerritos Falcons. Grossmont are in the green cap, so they're dark. Um, Cerritos is in white. And there it is. There's a goal by Garrett. That was at 6.49. I believe that is the first goal of the game. Taken from uh, from the far side, number 20 corner, but it goes out of bounds. Oh, there's an exclusion on Grossman. So it's going to be number nine. Asking for the ball out. Uh, there might be a shot clock issue. Parker with a stop and a bar out. Thank you. 
out of bounds. It's going to be Cerritos ball. There's 2.30 left in this first period. Two, he's taking it in all the way. And there he goes. Look at this shot off of the goalie's arm. Nice. Emiliano, right. That goal was at 209. Takes Grossman up by one. Maybe there's another game we don't know about. <laughs> ordinary foul side. The ball goes in the stick. Pops it out. Shot taken. And that's a stop by Parker. Oh, he got stuck on his wide open week. Oh, the pass is long, though. Oh, to put it all the way back there. And now there's an exclusion on Cerritos. So, Grossman's got a new 37 call and a man of advantage. And Grossman's going to call a 30 second timeout. He's going to do a quick sub. Second part goes into post. Yes! Oh! So close. And we're going to be even on that. We're under a minute left in the first period. Oh, there's a contest foul. There's 30 seconds left. 
Tito is able to back that in with 24 seconds left. And that, uh, the scoreboard has it as four to three with Grossmont with a one point lead. time during the game. Five to four. Yeah. 
And so Cerritos will be a man up, and they're going to go ahead and take a timeout. Coming back from a Cerritos timeout, they're a man up. Oh, contra foul. And we're even up. Brock comes back in. Driver coming into the goal. Oh, shot taken, but it goes over the goal. Contra foul. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. That was Nathan, number 15, all by himself on the fast break. Plenty of time. He goes ahead and gives a little short skip over onto the right side, low corner. That goal was at 331, and that ties it at five. into the group quite uh, quickly. He's actually got somebody's sunglasses. Goes my ball. Puts it into set. Oh, there's going to be an exclusion. Goes on get a new 30. And it will be a man up. Even, it's even, oh, and they come in and collapse on Horn right as the other guys come in and they get the ball out to their, their fast break. Put it in the center and the lob shot goes off the bar and Parker's there to get that rebound. Little fist pump there. Right, right. 
Oh, shot is field blocked and recovered by Sorita. There's one minute left in this half. It's an ordinary foul. Shot clock center 10. Yellow card. Oh, who's the yellow card on? There's an exclusion on Warren. Um, I can't imagine that he's the one that got the yellow card, but. So, so he looked as a man up. And there it is, a skip shot from the far side. That was at 14 seconds remaining. Um, okay, he keeps, it's the coach, isn't it? He keeps, okay. The, the coach is the one who keeps getting the red card, or the yellow card. I think it's because he's um, going beyond uh, the point in which he is supposed to. He keeps approaching the ref. There was a shot by Emiliano there going across the goal line, but uh, it goes out of bounds on the goalie, so it'll be a new third. We set that left in that. And, uh, and it's a contra foul. It's going to be Cerritos' ball with 1.6 seconds left. Shot taken. Parker punches it out of the way. That's it, that's the end of half, and it's tied at six. Wins the sprint there to begin this third period. Again, Grossmont is in the dark green caps, and Cerritos are in white. And per usual, we have switched and of the pool uh, for this third and fourth period. Ball goes into set, and it's an ordinary foul. He's inside. Stop taking it. Stop by Cerritos. Ball goes in the set. It's just an ordinary fair. Oh! Oh! Oh, we got lucky on that one. That shot which was at point blank range uh, with the ball out. Torn. Yes! Goes near side, upper corner, and squeezes that in there. Nothing but net on that one. And that was at 7 1, and that takes Ghostron up by one. There we go. 
Corn gets a takeaway there as it comes Grossmont's ball. Cerritos, Scott Garrett's there to pop it out and gets it to Torin. Torin gets it back to Parker. Oh, Hunter foul mid game. Ties it up at seven. Oh, 
seven year foul. Oh, shot outside, far out. And there's an exclusion on Cerritos, and there's going to be a timeout for Grossman. Coming back from a Grossmont timeout, the Griffins are a man up. Tied game, seven to seven. Yes. The goal by number twelve, Garrett, is a pop out from the post, and he just basically skip shot slam dunks that in. That was at 218, and that takes Grossmont up by one. Shot clock is 
down to five. Shot taken, stiff shot out of bounds. So seven and a half minutes left to maintain this win. Or at least the lead. Turn it into a win. Well, they put it in the set, and the shot it sort of interfered with, and Parker is there to get it. It's kind of a soft toss for him. Ball goes over to the 4 5 side. Comes all the way across. The pass is a little bit long. And that's going to be out of bounds, so it's going to, it's going to go to Cerritos. Shot taken, skipped over the goal. Coach wants to slow down. Got a stray ball into the tank. Oh, there's a steal by Garrett. Luckily, that stray ball didn't really interfere much. We need some more support down here. Where are the rest of the Griffins at? Oh, we go right set. Yes! Beautiful. That was three on two there. With that goal. And that was a five for
Rosemont has a two goal lead at this point with just under four minutes left to play. And there's an exclusion on Cerritos. Grossman's going to be a man up. New 30 second shot clock. Coach Lackey wants the team to set up. Shot came and he's going to be even. They're calling him in. The shot wasn't any good. It was going to be Cerritos calling him. Shot taken, field goal. Out of bounds, it's going to be gross on ball. Ball goes to the 4 5 side. Goes up the point. Shot taken, uh, field block. Cerritos is there to recover their own uh, bounce off. And there's going to be a Cerritos timeout. 242. Coming back from a site, uh, Cerritos timeout. There's a lot of steam teams here. Uh, Citrus, Cypress, Cerritos. Oh! And that was a double bar. Just went past the goal line. That was a 226, and that brings Cerritos up from within one. Ball goes into set. Oh, the ball pops out, and they collapse on him. Oh. Rosemont recovers. There was no shot, so there's not a new shot clock. And oh, again, oh yes. Oh, they don't call that a uh, Cerritos ball. Two minutes left. Ball goes in the set. And that ties it up at 10. Back to the goalie. Yeah. 
30 seconds left in the game in regulation. timeout, ball starting with goalie, it goes into the center and there's a, oh they call the ball under on Grossmont, and that's obviously going to end it, and that is, oh, what a heartbreaker, that's a good game though, and uh, Cerritos ends up winning that by one, with that last second goal scored, anyway, this is a good tournament. Rip's gonna stick in. 